Okay, um, as you can see on the rocket, I put uh, masking tape just on the outside of the fins, um, and these are going to be for my fillets. So if I have that leftover epoxy, I can lay in those fillets. Um, I put down a masking tape so I can peel it up. It makes cleanup a lot easier. Um, so this is ready for epoxy. Um, I do, do need to put in the front rail button. And uh, I've taken a dowel and I put a piece of tape on it and stuck the weld nut to it. And then I'll go in from the inside. So here's my hole. I'll go in from the inside and just find the hole. Push it through. Oop, stay in there. And then put the button on to hold it in place. I want to put epoxy on this side to um, this will hold this in permanently so I don't have to ever worry about it falling through. Come on. Okay, and then pull out the tape. That one's on there. Um, I'm using Aero Epoxy, Rocket Epoxy or Rocket Poxy from Glenmark. It's a two-part system, plus it has a black dye so that you know that you have it all mixed properly. Um, if it looks any marbled color, uh, that means you have it mixed in very good. See, like that little bit right there. Um, I've got some rubbing alcohol here. This I use for cleanup. Um, it cuts it pretty good, so it cleans up fast with a little alcohol. Um, I got a wood dowel here, and this I'm going to use to pick up a scoop, and then go on the inside here and smear glue everywhere on the inside. So this is going to take me a little while. It's going to get kind of messy. Um, I'm kind of trying to do it upside down, which is even harder. You want to get both the tube side, uh, the motor mount tube, and the big tube side. Get in there and smear it around pretty good. So I'm going to keep doing that, and then um, if I have any epoxy left, I'll lay it in these grooves. Uh, just, I'll just lay it in there like that, and then smooth it out with my finger. And then we'll pull the tape off later and clean it up with some rubbing alcohol and get off any excess that gets anywhere. So that's what I'm going to do for probably the next 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, um, I've got my internal fillets in there. Um, now I have to put on my centering ring um, again. We want the fins to go right between the little holes. Um, and make sure that there's no epoxy on the inside of the tube, on the engine mount tube. And I'm going to slather up on the outside of the ring. I would keep the strings on there until until after you get it installed in case you need to pull it back out. Keep, try to keep them tight so that 
they don't get underneath the the ring. Perfect. I don't know if you can see that, but at this point I can uh, take that shot cord off. Uh, you can either untie it or cut the knot. I'll cut it. Oops, I have a little bit of shot cord. It, it did get underneath there. Oh, crap. Let's see if I can pull it through. It's okay, though. It's not going anywhere. I'll just cut it off. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen, but it did, but it's okay. I need to put a fillet around here anyway, so it's going to be part of my fillet. Mm, still doesn't want to come. All good. All right. So there's my back end. You can see that. All right. So I'm going to take the leftover epoxy. And put a fillet around here. And those holes, I can fill those holes. I don't need those little holes anymore. If you have an engine retainer, this is a good time to put it on. I'm going to use my finger. I think it might be a little faster. Oh, yeah. This epoxy I'll put in there in the fillet. Okay, double check my uh, motor tube there, make sure that there's no epoxy on the inside of that. That looks good. some leftover epoxy, so that's going to be for fillets.
And don't forget about putting some epoxy underneath that rail button right there. see it right there okay so I'm going to continue putting fillets on uh, I'm going to let this harden and then uh, the next time this should be um, our engine section should be done and then we can move on to the electronics bay so I'll see you then